Hello and welcome. My name is Mark. This is Riffle Shuffle and Roll, and today I'm going to be giving you a little look at a game called Not Your Ma's Zhong, published by Hasbro Games. If it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell so you're notified about new games every week. Now, I came across this game on Amazon just by accident, just doing a browse for new card games. And to my pleasant surprise, I saw that it was indeed published by Hasbro Games. It is not, um, it is not Mahjong in card form. It's more like a contract rummy game where you can end the round by forming a specific set, a specific number of sets and pairs in your hand. You do not lay any melds down until you have met that contract. Now, there is one interesting hook during the gameplay where you are able to steal the card that was just discarded. And that differentiates it from uh, most rummy games where you're able to draw from the discard pile later. You can't do that here. So a pretty classic feeling game with a bit of a cutthroat attitude with only the ability to steal that keeps you on your toes during the game. Let's dive in and learn how to play and then we'll close it up with my thoughts. Out of the box, you will get an instruction booklet, a Ma card, a 75 card deck, 40 coin tokens, and player aids, four of them. The deck has a pretty interesting makeup. There are three colored suits, numbered one through six, and there are three copies of each number. So three ones, three twos, three threes, and so on. Then there are uh, a set of cards for each season, fall, spring, summer, and winter, and uh, there are only three for each season. And then there are also three emotions. We have guilt, love, and pride. For anyone accustomed to Rummy, the way they describe the sets in this game is a little different. So for this game, sets are both three of a kind and sequence of three cards. So uh, the set, if it's a sequence, it has to be the same color or suit. And if it's a set that's a three of a kind it either has to be all the same season all the same emotion or the same number all from the same color the other meld you're going to need to make for your winning contract is called a pair a pair is two identical cards either two of the same number from the same colored suit two of the same season cards or two of the same emotion cards after drawing for their turn a player wins the round once they have an 11 card hand that is composed of three sets, so either three of a kind or a sequence of three, and one pair. To set up for the game, you're going to give the Ma card to the oldest player. They're going to start the game. And the way that payments are made at the end of the round depends on who wins, the Ma or the other players. Each player is going to start with 10 coins and everyone will be dealt 10 cards. Ma is dealt 11. The rest of the cards are placed face down as a draw pile. Players shouldn't see each other's hands. And during the game, as sets and pairs are made, players do not lay them down. They keep them in their hand. Only at the end of the round, when one of the players has made the contract to win the round, that player will lay their entire hand down. To start the round, Ma chooses one of their 11 cards to begin the discard pile. So they pick the one they don't want and they put it face up. As cards are discarded, the player needs to say what the card is out loud. So Ma would say, guilt. After they discard, play passes left and the next player takes their turn. From that point on, players begin their turn by drawing one card from the top of the draw pile. They do not take a card or any cards from the discard pile. There is a special rule for doing that called stealing and I'm going to talk about that here in a second. Again after the player is drawn they choose one of their cards to discard and they say that card as they are discarding it. Green four. That is the basis of play for this game. Each player will draw a card from the top of the draw pile and discard one from their hand. 
and while they're playing they're trying to meet that contract of three sets and a pair. Now let's get to that stealing rule. A player may steal a card that has been discarded immediately after it is laid down in the discard pile and that steal must occur before the next player makes their draw. So here we have player one, who is Ma, discarding the green five. So they go green five. Player four wants that card because they have the three, four, and six. So that five will help give them a set. Before the next player draws their card, player four says steal, and they reach in and take the card and add it to their hand. There are two little rules to follow when stealing. First, a player can only steal if it allows them to complete a set. The set then must be placed on the table. This is the only time cards will be shown to opponents before the end of the round. So other players will be able to see that set for the rest of the round. A card can only be stolen to form a pair if these are the final cards the player needs to win the round. So the player will already have three sets in their hand. So you can only steal to make a pair if you can win the round by doing so. If more than one player says steal, the player who needs it to win the round gets priority. And if that's not the case for any of the players, whoever said it first gets the card. If someone says steal by accident or by mistake, Nothing happens, but they do lose their next turn. When a player has met the contract and they have 11 cards in their hand with three sets and a pair, they end the round by laying their hand down on the table for all to see. A round can be won with a steal. Once a player has stolen a card and met the contract, they just lay the hand down. Once the round is over, it's time to make payments. If Ma wins the round by stealing, everybody pays that player two coins. If uh, that player just wins by drawing, they're paid four coins instead of two. If anyone else wins by stealing, then all the players pay them one coin. Ma pays them two. And if anyone else wins by just drawing a card, everyone pays that player two coins and Ma pays them four. The deck of cards and the Ma card is passed left. Continue playing rounds until one player has run out of coins or the game can also end after nine rounds for a three player game and eight rounds for a four player game. At the end of the game, the player with the most coins wins. And that's how you play Not Your Mahjong. Uh, obviously, this game is not a Mahjong game. It's definitely a rummy game. It's like knock rummy with a contract that must be met. The hook being that stealing rule that really keeps you on your toes. And that's, a, that's it. That's about it. The scoring is a little different based on who you are, if you're the Ma or if you're one of the other players. So that keeps Ma on her toes, which makes this overall simple game pretty cutthroat. You have to pay attention to every card that is discarded. And if you are Ma for the round, you're really on the hook not to lose. So I can't give any big game impressions yet. That will come when I have a chance to play this. The player requirement of three or four keeps it from being a game that my wife and I could play together. So it's gonna have to wait till my next uh, card night with my group or the next family gathering I get to. But I think it's pretty easy to tell if you like rummy games and you like knock rummy and you like contract rummy and you're wanting something a little more cutthroat than either of those, then this might be your jam. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Check the description down below for all those awesome links like to GameRules.com, my Board Game Geek page, and Riffle Shuffle and Roll's official website where you can find original games published by Riffle Shuffle and Roll. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep on playing.